After Jesus was baptized, he went away into the wilderness, a wild and desolate land. There he stayed for 40 days, fasting and praying, preparing for his ministry ahead. Jesus would face many tests, but would rise triumphantly. The whole time that Jesus was in the wilderness, he had nothing to eat. For 40 days and 40 nights, he went without a single meal. Satan knew Jesus was hungry. He saw this as a great opportunity to try and get Jesus to break his fast. If you're really the Son of God, just tell these stones to turn into bread, he said. Jesus was focusing on God and not on himself and said to Satan, The word of God says that man shall not live by bread only, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Satan was not going to give up that easily. This time, he took Jesus to the highest spot on the temple. If you are the Son of God, jump. Remember, it is written, He will command his angels to take care of you. Jesus replied to Satan, You shall not test the Lord your God. Finally, Satan pulled out his sneakiest temptation yet. He took Jesus to a high mountain from which they could see all the kingdoms of the world. Then Satan said, I'll give it all to you, Jesus. Everything. It's yours. All you have to do is bow and worship me. At that instant, Jesus rebuked Satan in a strong and powerful voice. Be gone, Satan! The scriptures state, that you shall worship the Lord God and serve Him only. Immediately, Satan fled from Jesus. His evil plans of temptation had no power over the Son of God. Jesus would remain sinless unto His death on the cross, where He paid for the sins of all mankind, thereby defeating, once and for all, sin and death. After Jesus' resurrection, God exalted him to the highest honor and placed everything under his authority.